So when I think about BFQ 10 years later, and I think about the essence of what it means in the company, I still go back to some basic statements. BFQ is still really three things in my mind that it was from the beginning. It's a foundation. This is why we talk about BFQ foundations as a company with our employees, with our customers. It's a philosophy. It's all about the way we work, how we think about work, how we think about systems of work and what we teach people. And it's a framework. Visualizing work is my go-to VFQ essential practice that I always start with first. It's the first way that we really begin to understand what value might be before we start to test it. It also helps us understand what's the flow of our work, what does that process look like, and where might be improvement opportunities and what might those experiments be. And lastly, it really helps us capture feedback and understand insight from that feedback so that we can understand, did the change we make actually deliver on the intended outcomes? Without visualising my work, I become easily distracted, uh, my focus goes, and I find it really hard to prioritise things. It's so important to be deliberate here and it's definitely something I can't live without. One thing that I learned with VFQ was the discovery quality with fast feedback. This makes total sense to ensure we are building the right thing and building it right. Not wait only until the end to know if we are doing well, allow us to understand what and how we can change in an early stage. This gives us the time to learn and to correct anything we may need without deadline delays. For me, this is something quite profound. You see, it fundamentally changes people forever. I get the honor of talking to our customers, past and present, and VFQ never leaves them. Once it's seen by an individual, it is never forgotten. And that to me is just incredible.